break from the heat. Yeah, <laughs> I guess so. It is kind of nice out there. Let's get the latest, though, from Alyssa. It is. Yeah, you know, most of us are still in the 70s right now, so there's some upper 60s that we're now dropping back into from some of the rain-cooled air. Here's a live shot downtown Indianapolis where we have mostly cloudy skies. That's going to continue to increase overnight. We'll see a big blanket of clouds helping keep temperatures warm through the evening. Unseasonably warm, not just 5, 10 degrees above normal. We're going to go 20 degrees above the average tonight, so we should be dropping back from here we are right now into the upper 40s overnight. So we're going to get nowhere close to that. We're going to be talking upper 60s through the evening hours. We shouldn't even be at 72 right now, and that's not even the warmest part of the day. We hit highs in the upper 70s this afternoon. Right now on the radar, things are starting to dry out a little bit, but we did have a few thunderstorms pass by earlier this morning. Looking here towards the east side near Newcastle, we are starting to see some heavier pockets of rain moving out, but we are going to be looking at a drier evening ahead before more rain takes over again for both Thursday and Friday. So here's what it's been doing the last few hours. Now we have had some thunderstorms northwest, but central Indiana stayed relatively dry. Now when we do get some isolated downpours, it hasn't been associated with any lightning, so that's good news. Getting ready for tomorrow morning, putting kids out at the bus stop. We've got temperatures staying very warm for us in the upper 60s. Our sunrise getting closer and closer to 8 a.m. So we're losing minutes of daylight rapidly. In fact, in just less than an hour, we're going to be seeing the sunset at 7.07 tonight. So cloudy skies through the morning hours, and that's going to help get us ready for some rain Thursday afternoon. Right now, our temperature is just beginning to drop back, mostly on the north side where we did have some of those heavier showers and thunderstorms sweep through, so our temperatures are falling off a little quicker there. 72 in Indianapolis, as well as Shelbyville and Terre Haute, so it's another thing those clouds can do is sort of normalize the temperatures um, across some of our reporting spots. Our dew points are in the mid-60s, which is still pretty high, so a little bit of that mugginess, the humidity is certainly a factor. To the south, that's where our winds are coming from, out of the south, blowing in some warm air for us. That's another thing helping these temperatures. Now overnight we stay dry, mostly cloudy. We could have a few little tiny isolated rain showers in and out in a couple of minutes. Tomorrow morning should be waking up to mostly dry conditions as well, but we are going to go pretty cloudy. Out west, kind of north, towards Lafayette, Crawfordsville, we're looking at a few spotty showers, but the thunderstorms should be reserved until later in the day. So even dry out briefly. Two o'clock looks okay. Cloudy skies, overcast conditions for a lot of the day. And then there we go again with some evening afternoon rain showers. That's 8.30 p.m., so looks like we could get some pretty good thunderstorms going later on in the evening. And then Friday, same deal. I'd say even kick up the rain chances for Friday. We're going to start off a little bit more wet with scattered showers and thunderstorms. And then throughout the day, a little bit of clearing and sunshine will actually help get some storms going again by about 6 o'clock on Friday. Big changes are on the way that we will start to dry things out and clear up. It'll look a little bit nicer as we head towards the weekend, and it'll start to feel more like fall. 68, that's 20 degrees above normal for tonight's low temperature. We drop back into the low 60s over the weekend. Our temperatures are knocked off by a cold front as we begin to dry out. Time for sports. I'm Chris Woodlick. As the cold